Hey guys, it's Omer from MOs.com and a quick first impressions gameplay video for Strife. 3D MOBA developed and published by S2 Games. Also about 20 to 25 minutes running around checking this game out and make some comments. If you guys want to play Strife or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MOs.com on the link below. So let's go get started right now. It is uh, it is yet another MOBA, this time by S2 Games, the same folks behind uh, Heroes of New Earth. So we're playing it's a matchmaking game against other players. I'll highlight some of the, the, fe the key features of Strife in a moment. So we can see our playable heroes at the bottom. We have, uh, this guy is basically the How to Tame Your Dragon guy, Bastion. And you can see, um, one cool thing about this game right away is you can see the ability descriptions where it says, like, cone damage for a Q. It tells you right away in Champion Select or Hero Select in this game exactly what every champion does without reading, like, a huge, uh, like, huge wall of text. Ready, blind enemy to area, bonus attack damage or critical. So you know right away what, what hero you pick and what they do. So I selected my hero already. There's about 30 heroes as of this video. And a cool aspect of this game is the game's pet system. There's about like 14 pets or so over here, and each pet has various skins, but they basically have three extra abilities. You can see um, the two I have available right now, which are free to play over here. I have Pinsir and Tortoise. I can use Rejuvenate every few minutes and it activates re health regen. And if you click on, I'm gonna click on this guy, you'll see when I get to the game anyway. I am playing Bandito, and let's go ahead and click ready. All right guys, we just entered the game and we are waiting for everybody else to load. Uh, I, right away I can start shopping. I start with a thousand gold and we click buy. Uh, if, you've, if you haven't noticed already, the game has actually a very sleek interface. You can very easily see what's going on and everything is pretty well described as you saw earlier. I like the fact again that the game does tell you what each ability does very simply and it, you, you don't have to read anything to really figure it out. Here you can see a more in-depth description of abilities. I'm going to go ahead and get token toss. Let's see what this does. Target direction to throw a token dealing 91 magic damage and applying a 0 0.8 second stun to the first enemy hit. If you target as a hero, you gain 3 gold. I'll take it. And we click B to buy, and I'm gonna buy recommended for now. We're gonna go ahead and buy. Should I buy boots first? Will I be one of those people? Let's be one of those people. We'll buy boots first, and then I'll build probably Mystic Dagger first. These are all my recommended items, and I'll go ahead and build this first. And it's uh, it's a bit like Dota in that there are actually recipes in the game. It's not like League where you just auto combine. Uh, there is there are actually. Well, there actually are recipes in League. I'm not sure why I I derped that for a second. But yeah, we can, there's recipes like in League and Dota. Here we can get a Mystic Dagger for, once you buy these pieces, it costs a thousand to combine them. And let's go, let's go bot lane over here and see what's up. Graphically, the game looks uh, much more like League than Dota. Whereas uh, their first game, S2 Games' first MOBA, Heroes of New Earth, looked a little bit more like Dota. So I like, the guy, I like the way my guy just waddles as he walks. He's like a slot machine kind of dude, so he's supposed to, he's supposed to be like a gambler, such an RNG kind of guy, so we'll see what that's all about. They're brushed in the game too, you walk inside and nobody else can see you. We got our cute pet next to us, who just follows us around. And again, all the pet does is um, tortoise boost survivability, this guy. If I click F, it's got a 2, point, two minute 40 second cooldown, as well as it gives me a Harden and Vitality. You can see what they do. Harden gives me a little damage shield. These are my minions. I think they're called brawlers in this game. So basically, you want to view the tortoises, as all the pets in the game, as basically summoner spells. It is pretty much what they are anyway. A few other key differences here is everybody has their own courier, which I'll show you when I go get something from base. Look at that awesome last and I am a champ. Let's use my Q on this dude. Oh yeah, just got three gold for queuing him. Totally worth. If you see these little purple uh, triangle, not triangles, sorry, purple diamonds. Basically, it just tells you you're in XP range. It makes it uh, very easy to know. Where's my lane mate? Am I? Oh my god, we have an AFK. Well, this is gonna be quite the game. It's four v five. That is unfortunate. So far, I've been on the ball with last hits. I can't really show you the last hitting is actually shared in this game because my teammate is in here. So if my teammate gets the last hit, we basically split the gold regardless. I think it's a really uh, nifty feature to making um, supports in the game more balanced. Sharing gold, I mean, the concept of having like one person get all the farm I always thought was very, very stupid. League had that for the longest time where support didn't get any gold and basically had no fun. But at least now in League you have the uh, the gold items which give you sh some share of last hits with the... As well as just getting passive gold for staying next to minions. But now uh, Dota 2, on the other hand, has actually um, is still going with the same system before where supports basically get no gold. Here at least everyone in lane gets gold. Which is a uh, I think it's much more fun. Much it makes a lot more sense. I'm level three too, let's level up um I can shift Q to level that up, and I'll get my W as well. Let's grab that. My Q just basically is a stun and direct damage. I get gold if it lands on the hero, as well as a mini stun. Let's level up my E, which is a uh, Gambler's Fortune. Targets an ally, heal them for 91 health, and grant 75 bonus yeah, movement speed. I, I, I can do that on myself as well, I believe. Yep, we can do that on myself too. Though, in um, 
You can still technically go, you know, get around the split mechanic if you wanted to by making the guy in your lane, like, stand really far away. But you wouldn't get any experience, so I'm not sure why anybody would actually do that. I am in, I am in dire straits over here because, uh, unfortunately, this is, this is a 2v1 lane, I believe. No! Ugh, I missed two last hits there. This tower does way too much deeps. Kill it! No! I was on the ball earlier with last hits. We can see the score right now. I don't think I think it's pretty even. Also, if you haven't noticed, my boots are actually not taking up a main slot over here. Like other mobas, you have six item slots, but I think this is the only moba where um, it's actually I keep messing it up. I always click Control Q, not Shift Q. That's a wall ability, I guess. I guess like yeah, it just tries to block you off, kind of like Anivia's from League of Legends, I guess. It's a tornado move, totally like Janna's. Level six, I'll get my ultimate. And you see my boots down on the left side of my inventory? These three item slots are designated for consumables as well as boots. So your boots don't take up space, which I, I actually think is kind of cool. This is the only game where you can get six items excluding boots, so there's more room for uh, advancement late game. Let's go kill these. I'm gonna get this one. Third, so three hits and auto attack is what you do for these melee minions. It's near the tower. I don't think I can really get a kill over here because I, I can't 2v1 them. There's no way. It's like a siege minion. I'm still getting used to the last thing mechanics because it does feel a little bit delayed from what I'm used to. But I'm sure every hero is a little bit different. Missed that one too. I am awesome. So we got my ultimate, and the ultimate on this guy is uh, all about that RNG. Double down. Passively grants an 18% chance of refund the abilities cooldown and mana cost on use. So basically, I have a chance of being able to spam my abilities. And that level, if you use it, it doubles dodge and guarantees the next one refunds and refunds the mana cost and cooldown. It's, uh, I can just walk around that, bro. You're supposed to use that in like like these corners or something, not like randomly in the middle of the lane. Doesn't make much sense. So let's use my Q on this guy again. It'll, I want to get the reset like five times in a row. So later in the game, you might see me just spam my abilities like three, four, five times in a row because it it gets like really high percentage when you level it up. I think it's uh, 18, and it, I think it max out at 30. And when you use it, again, it guarantees your next one, it doubles the chance. So it'll be like 60% later on. Let's hit this guy with my Q, get my W. My W is like an AoE uh, damage that also does new, uh, DOT. Let's get that guy. Let's hit this guy with a Q in a second. My, my hero is pretty mana dependent, so, and I, I seem to run out of mana pretty quickly if I spam my abilities early on. I'm just focusing on last ditch right now. Actually, I have money. I should go shop too. What are we going to get? We're going to get this thing when I can. Power Crystal. Also worth mentioning, uh, with Strife over other MOBAs right away, Alrighty. is the game has um, no ability power slash damage mechanic. Instead, there's just um, what this says, Power Crystal, 16 power. Power applies to both auto attacks as well as abilities. So it's not, so basically anyone can do pretty decent auto attack damage and spell damage. That also boosts, I believe, your, your healing abilities too. It says uh, it boosts everything in orange. So it tells you right away what it does. We cue this guy, and that's, uh, sorry, that wall is not gonna help you. He's yet to use that wall like in an efficient manner. So we got we're gonna get this bad boy and we click uh, G, and it basically gives us a courier, brings our item all the way back from base. He's running over here. Look, he's delivering my item for me. What a nice guy. Whereas in uh, in Lee, you gotta go back always, and in Dota, you have to buy your own courier or split one with your team. Here, everybody just has their own personal courier, and I'm pretty sure it can't die. Also, when you're out of combat, you just saw those plus signs over my head. You regen a little bit faster. So when you're traveling in between lanes to gank. You can basically get a lot more HP and mana before you arrive to gank. I have to use my W to kill that dude. I can actually almost... I think I have a chance of killing that guy if I had mana. Which unfortunately, I do not have mana right now. A little bit low. And if I, I, can, if I can spam my W my Q, it could, it could work out. Does this take mana to use? Nope, it takes no mana to use. It's still 18% passive and it doubles it. So it's like 36% when I use it. And let's... You know what? We could try YOLOing. Eh, I'm too low now. Let's kill these real quick. Can we get this guy? Yes, we can. I'm doing alright with last hit so far. Let's get my point to W. Got that one too. Oh man, we got Zenti over here ready for a gank. Unfortunately, it's still 4v5, man. Come on, reconnect already. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's catch. Oh no, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. I stunned that guy for a second, and we got a kill. Sick gank by that guy. There's a jungle too, but I don't think we have anybody jungling this game, unless it's this guy. I'm not paying attention. No, I think it was mid. So we have two top, one mid, one bot. Well, it's 3v5 now, apparently. Oh my god, we have two people in base. Well, this might be a... This was an awful game to record, but it's... Whatever. It happens sometimes. I might play another one if I still have time here. Because I want to show you the late game in this too. It, is, it gets pretty interesting. I am, I am totally boned. You actually use that thing properly, but I'm still okay. He's got this pet, Pinsir. 
And this, again, my F is on cooldown. I'm gonna go back right now. We're gonna go towards our tower back here and click this. And we retreat back to base for free in six seconds. This has a pretty huge cooldown on my Rejuvenate, but it's it's a good ability. It's a, pretty much a free heal. It's not back, no, it's not 4v5. It's, oh, is he back? Is, is our boy back? Oh yeah, he's level three, so I think he's back. I believe, we're gonna win this late game. Right, let me shop anywhere I want back in base. I was low on man, which is why I went back. We're gonna go and get this item. And get that. And let's run back down right here. So you see, I got a, I got a Mystic Dagger now. There are activatable items too. I don't have any right now though. But I, also, I do really like the fact that your boots don't take up an item slot. Because like sometimes in League, or even though if the game got really late game and you wanted another item, you would sell your boots and buy something else. Here, you don't have to. You can just have your boots in a separate item slot. So it encourages everybody to buy boots. You can upgrade your boots too, which I have yet to do. Let's get some of these last hits. Let's use my W to get those last hits. There's AoE and burning damage. And the little 45 you see, the purple text is all experience. So you know exactly how much experience you're getting. I've yet to use my ultimate though. You know what? Let's YOLO this guy. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get yes. All right, so far so good. Let me heal this guy. Unfortunately, my cool my, my my moves didn't work too well. I didn't get too many resets. Again, the resets are completely random on this character. So some fights I'll just absolutely wreck in team fights because I'll be able to spam. That's the guy's got like a hook ability. I'll be able to spam my searing cards as well as my stun. Let me heal this guy. This guy's getting a little ballsy. My heal does not heal that much right now. 107.8. It does get boosted by my um my power though. So as you get more power, the base heal. Whoa, that like I'm pretty sure that should have hit me, but it didn't. Awesome. Let's kill these two. I'm getting a little bit low. I'm not gonna. I got. I gotta get out of here. This guy's actually low on mana too. If I had mana, this guy was dead. Oh, we still got him. Easy. We started four v five, but no problem. He's back, and we're gonna win. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna win yet. That move looks really cool. I wanna get. I wanna play that guy because I like playing. Um, I like playing Pudge in Dota too. This guy's back. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going back. Let's heal myself with the bonus movement speed. And let's run back to base while we see what's going on in other lanes. Uh, oddly, we don't have a jungler. I'm pretty sure uh, the meta in this game will give us a jungler. There's also no wards, which is uh, interesting. Instead, you capture these observer towers which give you range, which nobody's even bothered to do. So, oh well. So we got 938 gold. We're going to buy this, which we can't even do yet. Can't buy my upgraded boots either. In Fort we can't buy my upgraded boots. JK, we got them. Coin in, coin out. You can also buy, uh, there's actually a really cool thing I want to show you right now. This is actually, I thought this was really interesting. But you can see uh, on the consumables over here, you can buy mana potions and health potions, which go to your these two slots down over here. Let me sit over here, I don't want to die. Right. But you can also buy these these tomes, which basically permanently increase your stats. This gives you a permanent 70 bonus mana, 70, uh, 105 bonus health, and this gives you a permanent uh, power, which again, is ab ability power as well as damage. So those can stack too, they're consumables. You use them and you get bonus stats forever. And the cost of those, I believe, increase in time too. So it's not always the same fixed cost. So the game essentially drags on for a long time. You have, um, there's a lot you can do. Uh, sorry bro, you can't dive that. You can keep buying those tokens and permanently increase your stats. This is the only MOBA that actually gives you that option, which is really cool. Let's kill this guy. Let's stun that guy again. Look at that, I got so many resets. I, li I was literally able to token toss that guy three times in a row. And that was even without using my ultimate. My ultimate guarantees me one reset, as well as doubles the chance of resets. But my 18% kicked in like three times in a row. That was awesome. Twice in a row, actually. Actually, three times in a row, I had off cooldown again. There's really not much you can do if, with this character. When I'm playing this hero, if I get really lucky. Man, this is like the ultimate hero. Like, if you get so lucky, you can stun lock somebody. You can literally just keep queuing them over and over again. Especially if you get, uh, when you use your double down and increase the chance. So level 15, which is the max level. You get your third ability over here. I think it's level 15 to get your max ability. But level 15, you can do your 60% chance. And if that if that procs, like over and over again, you just you are so terror. In team fights too, I can mass my W. I can keep doing my W if it resets. And again, it does AoE damage and burns everyone. And the damage is actually not bad at all. And same works for your heal. The thing is though, this character kind of requires fast fingers later on if you're spamming your abilities. Yeah, we're gonna want to kill this. So now we can kill this guy again. No, he ran away. I wasted my ultimate. Slow him. Slow it. We got, we got this guy. Wait, I was able to use my steering. Oh no, I'm. The tower does literally a bajillion damage this game. Like, if I highlight it, it'll say a bajillion. It does so much damage to heroes. It's pretty insane. Actually, the the main base does a lot of damage too. You'll see when we when we push towards theirs. So I, I played really dumb over there. I was able to get this guy was actually a little bit lower level than me too. So probably should have kept that in mind. 
I was able to use Searing cards twice, and I was able to use my Q twice. Q twice because my uh, it didn't necessarily proc my double down gives my first activate all the move a reset automatically. I have a lot of gold too, so I've spent that. We don't lose gold for dying too, which which I actually really like. I hate that about Dota. Probably just because I'm not used to it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It is a bad thing though, in my in my mind, only because I'm not used to it. Back to recommended. We're gonna buy this for more mana because we run out of mana really quickly. And I actually didn't use my boots either. My boots have an activatable. It says D if I use it. Activate grants 20% resistance penetration for 5 seconds. So that's actually really useful. It'll penetrate the armor. They're both level 8 and 9. I am level... I'm level 10. I had a solo lane though for that. Again, we're not capturing anything in the jungle. The jungle has a few objectives. These two over here, the orange and red ones. Basically, this is like Roshan over there. Or Baron. This guy's going in deep. Let's go kill this guy. And I didn't get any resets, so we're gonna run away. This guy's playing so ballsy. If I fall it in with him, oh, can I kill this? Guy? Let's use uh, let's use my F to regen, and let's do this. Let's use my ultimate, and I am gonna die. Get him! Get him! Yes, we. Woo! That was intense. I was I was mashing my abilities. I was able to use my searing cards twice, I believe, and my stun twice. This guy came in a little bit late, but we still got it. This hero is so fun if you get lucky. Like, but, but if you don't get lucky, your cooldowns are actually decently long. Because I have a... What's the cooldown on this bad boy? Let's use it on this guy. It's a 9 second cooldown, so I'm just kind of standing there for 9 seconds doing literally nothing. If my if my moves don't proc. But it's it's fun. It just, it's, it's insanely fun to get like 3 cooldowns off in a row. You get 2 for free. Oh, what am I doing? This guy's... Uh, I'm getting ganked and I should have went back. Let's uh, we're gonna, to, we're gonna GTFO. Get out of here, please! No! I got a juke. Incoming best jukes in a. Watch this. Oh, we went that way. I'm out. And while I, while you're out of combat, look at my regen. It's much higher than normal. So if basically, if you're if you're ganking other lanes, the game actually encourages ganking other lanes because just by going to like mid, I'll regen like at least half my HP. Thank you. I'm not sure who said that to. Probably top lane over here. We're not doing that bad. I think it's actually. 15 to 9. We're actually winning. Considering it was 4v5 for the first, like, 5-10 minutes of the game, it's it's not bad. Good start. Let's go build this too. I guess we're gonna get these two. Let's get this one first. Back to, uh, back to lane. The game's item system is also a little bit unique. And by a little bit unique, I mean fully unique, because you can't actually be a little bit unique, because it's either unique or it's not. But you can actually craft your own items. Not in-game over here. Outside of the game, you can actually unlock the game's crafting feature once you're level 4. This is a feature that a lot of people, they, uh, they, 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 they like it or they hate it, because it does open the door to some uh, some imbalances. But it's actually a really glorified, I would say, rune system from League of Legends. Because the items you can see in the game, these are all the default items. However, you can change the recipes for these items, as well as change the stats for individual items as well. So once you combine an item, it'll, it'll have different stats if you crafted it that way outside the game. But that's all handled outside of the game, so if you can give an item more damage, it can give like a lifesteal, it can give other bonuses. But those other bonuses come at a cost, because you can, if you enchant the item outside the game, it costs more in-game, more gold to actually build that item. But it actually it opens the door to some imbalances early on, but it's because uh, like an item, an item that costs more generally has more value, because it takes up an item slot. You only have six item slots in the game, too. So even if, even if you upgrade an item to cost more, it's still better, because even though it costs more, it still takes up one item slot. But again, you can bring up the same complaint in League of Legends because runes and runes, for example, early on, if a guy has more uh, better runes than you, you're at a disadvantage. But again, those are. Um, I'm sure they'll be more balanced later on. If there's any real big complaints in the game, they will definitely be addressed. S2 has been in the MOBA business for a while now. Here's a Nero that's still surprisingly popular. Let's kill that dude. Unfortunately, I'm not leveling up my. Let's kill. Can we kill this guy? Oh, no resets. No resets. Come on. Oh well. If I did my ultimate, I might be able to get more resets. Oh, this guy's this guy's playing so balls, he's done. Alright, easy kill for us. Let's use my let's use this. I use my ultimate while my abilities were on cooldown because I'm awful at this game. Whoops. Let's hit this guy. And I'm this is not gonna go well. Yeah. That was really poor timing by me. I use my ultimate while my abilities were on cooldowns. I'm supposed to use my ultimate before I use an ability. That way that move auto resets. That was my first really bad play of the game though. I'm gonna say lag. The ultimate excuse. So, I would say Strife is definitely, um, it does things a little bit differently. It combines 
It has a traditional mobile elements that you'd, you'd expect to see in Dota and League, but it's got a unique item system. The fact that uh, oh, enemy hero left this time, awesome. Now it's uh, 4v5 in our favor. Good for us. But it has um, the, the, the XP, the gold sharing, which is a really good mechanic. I think every game should have that. It's just, it's, it's really dumb, I think, for for one hit, you know, for one guy to just get all the gold in the lane. It makes one person's role just not fun or less fun than it could be. Here, it's shared automatically. Uh, our mid's getting pushed in, it looks like. This guy's Killer Jeeba7 is doing well. He's level 12, but I'm only level 11. Oddly, again, the max uh, max level in the game is level 15. That's also a unique, unique aspect of this game. I'm going to go capture this to show you what this is all about. Instead of wards, you just walk past these uh, observer towers, and you get vision, like big AOE vision around here. They don't last forever. It's, it's pretty... I want to get the treasure chest. Is that like a... Is that a monster? It probably is. Yeah, let's go kill this treasure. Oh, well, it's uh, it's like a golem with a treasure chest over it. That's kind of cool. That gives a lot of gold. 137 gold. Wow. Can I kill this guy? Can I 1v1 kill this guy? Let's do it. Oh, man. We, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. My, my E actually reset three times, but that was it. This guy's going to get hit. Yeah, we got him. My Q I was able to use twice because it was my first ability. My W I only hit once, but my Gambler's Fortune I got three times in a row. Too bad Gambler's Fortune doesn't really help me kill anybody, it just heals myself. It's not bad. While my double down is on cooldown though, if you use it, I get uh, uh, it disables a passive on it, which is uh, which sucks, but oh well. Enemy missing top. For people that don't like RNG randomness, this is a uh, like this is such a troll hero. Wild cards. Wild cards. Kill these guys too, and we can we can push down bot lane. Two, one of the well, is this, who's dead on our team? One of them is dead. The guy I killed. My W does a ton of damage too. Like look at that burn damage on the guys in the back. Makes last hitting a lot easier later on. I'm I'm a little low on mana too, so I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna be retarded this time and just stay in lane and die. I'm gonna go back, and I'll level up my E because it's the only thing left right now. <clears throat> Basically, oh, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Run away. Run away, please. I can't even stun this guy if I wanted to. My Q is off. Is, uh, it's off cooldown now, but I have mana restraints. I am in trouble. Help, please. Oh, man. I am. If I had abilities, I would have made this. Yes, heal myself. The heal gives me a bonus movement speed. No, I died. If I was able to run a little bit further. If I had mana, I could have stunned him at my tower and he would have died, too. I'm making a sad face. Everybody's gonna know I'm sad with a sad face. I have a lot of money to spend anyway. We're gonna buy. If you haven't noticed, I've yet to use my uh, I've yet to use my power boots activatable. Whoops! I can probably kill people a lot faster if I do. The wizard's hourglass gives me a cooldown. Let's go build that. This one does kills and assists restore 25% of your mana over 2.5 seconds. Interesting. This one uh, no activatables. These again, these are just the recommended items. You can see all the items over here, and each item can be. Enchanted with the game's crafting system later on too, so you can make the items exactly the way you want Let's get this I want to build this but I don't have enough money for it yet, so we're gonna get this in the meanwhile I mean the more mana I get the better anyway because I my hero is so mana dependent I'll get more later on though The way the game makes money too is uh, all the heroes are available for free as you saw in my champions my hero select not champions select. We're gonna kill this guy right here. We're doing it. It's happening. Oh no, yes, stun that guy. Do this. Uh, I didn't get any cooldown resets. We're gonna chase him and get him again though. Three seconds for my W. He's getting burnt. And oh, nice try juking me, bro. Ain't gonna work. He tried, I can respect that. I'm a little higher level than him too, so uh, killing him was not that difficult. My hero is really fun though. I played another hero in the tutorial. Not as fun. I've yet to play I've only played a few other rounds of this before though. Big fan of uh, Heroes of New Earth, so I'm gonna give this game definitely a try. So far, it's, it's really fun. It is different too. The instead of basically selling heroes the way um, League of Legends does, it's got the Dota model of everything's available for free. However, the individual um, pets can be bought. So the pets uh, are like summoner spells, kind of like Infinite Crisis too, where you have to unlock the stolen powers by buying them. Here, you buy the pets, and there are. There are like 13, 14 pets as of this video, but more will definitely come out. Again, the, the pets don't just give you one activatable. Like you see my rejuvenate, but I also get hardened vitality. 
And there's, there's a whole bunch of pets too. Some of them give you like a teleport, like a flash from Lee. Let's kill this tower. Most like, there's like two people up top. You know, I'm not even paying attention to the map. It is, I think it's 45 right now too, unless the guy came back. There's two guys top, one guy died over here. Let's kill these minions, my, these brawlers, my W. If the game ever drags on to where I got, where I got six items, again, you can buy, um, you can buy these tomes in, infinitely, and they, they permanently increase your stats, these consumable tomes. I have a lot of money now too. Let's go. Let's let's go shop. Let's go buy recommended. We're buying. We're buying this hourglass, and then I'm gonna click G, and basically it's bring my items back to me again. Let's cue this guy. That guy is. This guy is terror. Oh no. My E reset, but that was it. We'll do that again. Can we? We're gonna try to use my. We're all thinking when he. Oh no! I am dead. I am gonna die. Yes. No, my ultimate already went away. This guy's so tanky. How would I kill this guy? He's got no mana either, though. Let's cue him. Man, that guy is real terror. I was able to proc my uh, my gambler's fortune like four times in a row, which is really cool. Which is why I survived that fight. But that guy is really, really tanky. I need way more damage. I should have again. I didn't use my D again, which is uh, which is penetration. Well, that sounded awkward. I didn't use my D for penetration. Nice. Let's kill these guys over here. Let's kill this thing. And we're gonna go back. I'm a little low on mana again. Can I buy my item yet? Can I combine these items? Nope, not yet. 12, 15. I'll get it with my gold tick. You get gold just just playing the game too. Just every few seconds you have a gold tick. Grab this thing. I think it, I still think it's 45 though. I see one, two, three, four of us. Is it 44? And I see four of them. Let's go grab this item. Last item is our recipe, which we're gonna get soon. We should all just push together. We're not really going for any objectives either because. The game is built in matchmaking system too, and we're playing against, I guess, other newbies too. We if we kill this Roche thing, we get a we get some defend cool stuff. Tower. Defend this tower. All right, all right, J Moon seven hundred three. I'll defend that tower. This guy ran up way too far. Double W. Catch him! I'll give you the speed buff. I'll give myself the speed buff too because we got cooldowns. All right, I'll, I don't want to kill this guy. He's way too tanky. I want to no. These guys are running to the brush. I'm not gonna chase him in there. That's not a good idea. Let's kill this tower though. Did we get a kill? Yeah, we got a kill. That one guy ran up like uh, for no reason, like one before. I'll kill this guy. Thanks. They say thanks automatically too. I think. Oh, uh, you communicate with V. You get this little wheel. I know Dota does the same thing. You can say, "Well played." I don't think you can communicate with the enemy team either. So it's going with the whole uh, Hearthstone kind of mechanic. Is there all chat in this game? I'll ask the team. Let's see if they know. Let's go kill this guy. Oh no! I am so boned. I am so dead. Yeah. I was able to use my heal twice to try getting out, but that guy hooked me and wrecked me. That hook up. Yo, I like playing Pudge Dota too, so I gotta play, I, I gotta play Killer Jeebus' hero. Guys, I have yet to use my my power boots. I'm using I'm using it next fight. I promise. Look how many wow! Look how many minions are top lane. I'm gonna I keep calling them minions, but they're brawlers in this game. I'm going top to farm after this. It's that four v four game oddly right now. Still twenty four to sixteen. I'm level four. No, nope, now it's uh four v three. Even better. This game's getting better. That guy's in the little brush. I can buy my item soon. No, we got a big wave over here too now. So no, I'm not gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go right back mid. Pretty long respawn times later though. Team, I believe. This guy's the only real problem. He's so tanky. Look at him, he takes no damage. Like, wow. Again, maybe we just don't have a... Wow. This guy's, this guy's gonna kill all of us. Ignore Jeebus. He's so tanky. If we kill everybody else, we can. We, I'm sure we can handle him. Like, see, my Q, there's like no damage to him. I gotta watch out for this hook. I forgot he's got that sick hook. Who tanked him so good? What? Uh, we might be in dire straits here. All right, I gotta, I gotta defend my base here. Yo, I can, I can kill this guy. Oh, I already got him. I think he got towered. Clearly a well-earned kill by me. 
Let's do my W. This guy. Oh no, please help me. Help, help. I'm good. Easy. Right. Luckily, uh, my E proc twice again, too. Let's kill these. I get farmed so easily with using my W. It just clears the entire wave. I'm gonna go farm top two now. Like, if we were smart, we'd be taking objectives. Because if we kill this, it spawns a huge, uh... He looks like he's Congor from Heroes of New Earth, so... It's... I think it's Congor. Yeah, it's... Congor's a big monkey. And he's, uh... He's basically the Baron slash Roshan of Heroes of New Earth. He's a statue in this game. Once you kill this guy, the guy basically respawns. He, res he spawns in your mid lane. Or, I think one of your lanes. You pick which lane. And he just pushes. Man, pushing is so easy. So I'm, I'm level 15 now. We'll find out if that's max level in a second. My ultimate is maxed out now, too. So now it's got a 30% chance to reset. It's, And if I use it, it's up to 60%. Expect more craziness from my hero in a bit. Look at that. reset. Three resets in a row. On a... Too bad it's like a brawler wave. My team is fighting, and I'm not even there. They're fighting, I think, two, 1v3? So, yeah, he does hurt. It's 4v3. We should win. We fight as a team. I don't think, I don't think they can beat us. We, we, we just have more people than they do. I should probably watch out. This guy's coming my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should retreat. I know. Let's go in this brush. And top our back. Nope. Let's go help our team. Dude, we're trying to kill uh, this guy. I'm on my way, bro. I'm uh, on my way. There we go. We tab alt. If you hold alt, you can use these, this wheel. Uh, we got we to gotta kill this Jeebus. This guy. That's, I don't want to fight this guy. This guy is so terror. I, I got three resets in a row. But, uh, oh god. Oh, I was able to heal myself a little bit, but... I think this guy is so... I hate this guy. Alright, he's... I should have uh, played a little bit safer. I ran in kind of 1v2 there. Get myself alive for a little while. I have 3500 gold too, so I got... I got items now. Time to buy items. Power Relic 27 power, that's gonna help a lot. Increase orange text effects by 27%. So now my heal, my heal should be a lot more too. I heal for 500. So that's a one fourth of my HP, that is awesome. And guys, I said I would use my power boots, but I didn't. We're using the next fight, I swear, it's happening. My score is eight and four, right? So, well, eight kills, four assists. It doesn't tell you your deaths, that's kind of odd. Maybe I'll tell you after the game, but you would, where, where am I? It tells you your GPM goal per minute. And in this, you can't emphasize farming enough. Farming is so important in uh, Strife. Because there's almost, there's no limit to how much you can farm. Whereas you can max out, like maxing out in League or Dota, it happens. Not often, but like, I feel like in League it happens more often than Dota, but it happens. Here, there is no maxing out. You can always buy tomes. So these are actually um, pretty cost efficient early on. I think they get less cost efficient later. Yeah, I wanna buy, I'm gonna buy one of those and I'll go back to base. I wanna see if the cost increases. Or is it always 500 gold? Because 500 is not that much. I need a win. Let's go push out mid. F uh, all mid, please. Let's go as a team this time, alright? I believe. This guy just does not die. I hate that guy. Does my Q do more damage now? 439. Can I see his HP? No. Let's use my W. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this guy. Nope, you can see the tower range over here too. So the game tells you tower range. Hit this guy. He takes no damage. Yo, you gonna go on me, bro? You gonna go on me? I'm gonna kill this guy. We're using. My, I'm using my. I use my ability this time, guys. I did it. No. Oh, I died. And of course, this guy is still alive. Shucks. Yeah, I, I am. I am not a tank. It's like three of us versus one tanker, we can't do it. I did use my uh, my boots that last fight though. Oh, please get him! Get him! Please! Yes! Alright, I died but we got two. It is 4v3 so we should win this game. And we got this. So let's buy one of these tomes right now. I'm gonna get the power tome. It costs 550 and it increases my stats. Uh, can I? There we go, I bought it. And the price does go up, see 565? And now it's gonna cost. Oh, I bought, I'm broke now. Now it costs six ten. So the price goes up every time you buy it. So I guess uh, that kind of balances too. So if your team is really ahead, it's not like you can just get like so much further ahead because if you're maxed out, it's not as efficient as items. So it's, at least uh, the top is not as item as efficient as items. I want to go top and farm all that. Let's go there. 
There is so much farm to be had up top. Oh my. I had to blow my nose too. Let me do that real quick. Awesome, there we go. Get all this farm. All of it is mine. Cue that guy. And let's grab this. A max level 3. So 15 is the max level. Probably the... That's like the earliest max level I've seen in a MOBA in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm coming. I'm helping. Let's go run that way. I'm not sure how long the, av the average smite game takes yet because I haven't played that many games. But this game is taking a while, even though it is 4v5. Attack this hero. I'm on my way. Let's go get him. Well, I'm going to just W all. Look at the damage on my W. It the brawlers are so... I feel like the minions are really weak in this game. That's, I'm going to heal myself. Let's use my... Let's use my ultimate. Oh, um, everything's on cooldown. Everything's on cooldown. Let's kill this guy. Got him. Can we kill this guy? Good, that guy escaped. I stunned this dude. W him. All cooldowns. I heal him. Awesome. We got, uh, we got two people. We should be... Honestly, this guy's right. Let's go do it. Let's Roche. Kill Roche. Kill Baron. Alright, I'll tank this, alright? I'm the caster, I'll do it. I'm the only man over here who's willing to tank this guy. This guy, this is the Zetsi guy, Zenti guy, I was just waiting. Attack the Gold Fury. Is he, is he the Gold Fury? I can't click on him though, that's kind of weird. I want to see his stats. Oh no. Well, that's embarrassing. You just, you just died to the... You just died to the AI. I think I'm gonna die too soon. Now we got him. Oh man, change his lane. He's going mid. YOLO mid, man. So by killing that, we get this uh, this giant monkey. He's he's not he's Kratos in this game though. He's he's still Kongor in my heart though. As a Han player, so we're gonna buy another recommended item. We're buying this. All right. And we're gonna push out mid. We can actually win with this. I think we got the game right now. Again, not because we did particularly well. It's, I mean, this guy was carrying his team so much. This guy with 11 kills. But uh, it is, we outnumber them. That sucks. Anytime, anytime um, somebody leaves in these mobile games, whether it's League, Dota, Han, Infinite Crisis, it really ruins the game. But there's really, there's no way to fix it. I think if you leave, you get a, uh, the game is a built-in system to ban you and punish you for it. If you leave too many times. Kill that, I stunned that guy. Let's wait for our, our entire team. And if I get a refund on my abilities, man, it'll say refund on myself. Let's see if I can show you. Nope, not that time. It's only 30% right now anyway. If I use my, if I use it again, it goes to 60% like I said. We got this. We got this. Again, all the, all the elastic gold is split. What am I doing? What am I doing running that far up? Yeah, that was really dumb with me. I am a I am a caster and I should not be playing dumb. So we got this guy's beating on the base. Oh my god, look at this guy. What a tank. I think we should win this right here. It is now it's 2v4. Yeah, there's not much they can do. This should be over. Easies. Double kill. Nope, we lost our we lost our pusher, but we should still win. Yeah, 50 second cooldown. Sorry about uh, I was gonna say sorry about the levers to them, but. I can't because I'm the enemy team. Nah, I don't know if we should take by. I feel like we could still win. There's so much time. No, 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 not bot. Also, it's, it's also worth mentioning when you kill these um, generators, basically their barracks or inhibitors, instead of getting stronger minions, you get a lot of gold. I think it's like 3,000 gold per you kill. So we want anyway. So you said the game focuses on getting items rather than making the, the minions stronger. So gold is a much more important mechanic here, because you can keep scaling on it infinitely almost. <laughs> See, I got 1500 gold for killing that. The whole team got it too, not just one guy. So now I have a... I should, I'm gonna shop right now. We'll get this, and let's get this, and let's get this guy to bring it to me. Close this out. And that, that should be that should be game for now. It's a fun game, and it's different. You have uh, the pet system is unique, the crafting system is unique. The, it's it's a fun game. There's, there's also no... Um, but there's no distinction between ability power and attack damage, so it's all just power in this game, which is, it's simpler. Interface is really nice too. Anyway guys, if you guys do want to play Strife or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MOs.com on the link below.
Anyway, guys, later.